Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys about getting wins and dominating on Retail Row. Pretty awesome video and I know that I talk a lot about Tilted Tower so I want to spend some time talking about Retail Row. In today's video however, I am doing a V-Buck giveaway and I also have a sponsor to sponsor with this giveaway and I'll get into that in a minute before this video starts. I think you guys will all be interested in that. Of course, smack a like on this video. Let's go for 220 likes. That would be amazing if we could hit that as, as well. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. We just hit 7 k it's going absolutely amazing smack the like buttons go for 220 likes and if you guys want me to do more v butt giveaways in the future definitely drop a like and a comment letting me know as i think you guys will enjoy today's sponsor it'll just take a minute and then we'll get right into the video showing all the tips for retail row Today's sponsor is actually really, really insane. It's an app called Amino. Basically what Amino is, it's a mobile network of communities for every interest in the world. They have everything from cartoons all the way up to Fortnite Battle Royale. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the app Amino. Plus I'm also doing like a huge giveaway of 13,500 V-Bucks. It's a real giveaway through Amino apps. And it's really easy to have a chance to win this. So I'll explain that once we explain a little bit about the app. So this app is absolutely amazing. And the Fortnite Battle Royale Armory has to be my favorite place i'll show you guys once you download this app with the link in the description you can see here you can you just type in fortnite at the top join the fortnite amino and on this amino you can do so many things such as see different news news and patch updates view different people's posts and also do different text chats you can see here me using a text chat asking people what they think about the newest patch update it is definitely very cool my favorite thing about this is keeping up to date with the game and also you can find other people to play with through this app very 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 easy Easy. Also, if you guys want to enter the giveaway, the giveaway is very simple. Once you join that Fortnite Amino, click on your avatar on the top left, go to the search. I'll show you guys how to do it up on the screen right now and search for the goblin one word under members. Click on my profile. You'll see it's me. I have the dancing Fortnite guy. I'm also a verified account there. Scroll down and you'll see my post. All you have to do is leave a comment saying you want to win and Amino will be picking the winner there of that 13,500 uh, V-Buck giveaway. So very, very simple. Check out the app link will be down in the description go ahead and download that and enter that giveaway if you want a chance to win and let's get into today's video all right boys let's talk about retail row now retail row is an awesome place on the map of fortnite battle royale thing with retail row is basically most of the time the big two areas of where people are going to land are retail row or tilted towers now tilted towers can be insanely hectic sometimes so can retail row and when is retail row the right place to go it all depends on where the battle bus is coming in front and i'm going to explain that for you guys right now now with retail row when when the bus is flying over and retail is the first area that that uh you know the first main city area you probably won't want to land there on those buses because that's times where it can get absolutely spammed and you can have a problem because there's so many people like 30 people going retail and there's not really enough loot or houses for 30 people so i find the best times to go to retail are either when the bus is flying in the middle straight down the middle between tilted or retail and then you can pick to go to retail and only about half the people go, will go there or when it's a stretch usually when it's a stretch and say your bus is coming in right over tilted most people are going to go to tilted if you're a bit more patient and you stretch it you wait a little bit to drop stretch it over to retail you will have you know of course there's still going to be a bunch of people there but you will have a good amount of loot and if you're a good player you will be able to dominate and win retail now the big debate about this always is should you land at the stores or should you land at the houses now i used to always think the stores were better but recently i'm realizing the stores are hit or miss sometimes you can land get a bunch of potions a bunch of shotguns and weapons but the houses are pretty much a guarantee and that's why i've always started to land on houses the reason why i like houses more and why they're more of a guarantee is because usually houses will have either a chest in the the, the top area or the attic i guess you could call it or the garage and those are definitely the main areas you want to land on retail basically how i like to play retail is land on a house get myself some loot and move around the house area and then once i've cleared out that area go over to the retail or the commercial or the, the black tops there's a bunch of different names for it. basically the area with the stores that i'm at right now and clear that out now one thing about dominating retail row you have to watch out for is there's a lot of stragglers it's not like tilted towers the tilted towers people who land tilted towers are the only one in tilted for at least the first couple minutes on retail people will be moving in from that back side onto the commercial so once you clear out and you think you're clear you might have one or two more stragglers moving into retail that you will have to pick off so that's one thing i will watch out the great thing about retail row is it's got that perfect balance of loot kills 
and danger. Now, if you want to go for 15, 20 kill wins, Tilted Towers is probably your way to go. And that's why a lot of people are talking about Tilted Towers saying that, you know, that they either love it or hate it and that there's the rumors that Tilted is going to be destroyed. However, if you want to get a decent amount of wins with a decent amount of kills, you know, you can easily get 10 plus kill wins by going to Retail Row. These are definitely the tips that I would say to follow. Now, learning chess spots in retail is fairly simple. Most of the chess spots are going to be simply in the house area, either on top of the garage um, or in the attic and you'll be able to listen and hear where where those are going to be once you clear out retail clear out the house area and then go over to the commercial and clear that out your rotations on retail is what makes this such a strong area after you clear this out you have a bunch of different areas you can go to you can go to the factories you can head towards dusty depot you can head towards salty spring usually what i'll do and of course the safe zone pretty much every time because retail is so far off to the right of that map pretty much the safe zone is going to take you to the left of that map so rotations are pretty standard there what i will do most of the time is i will run straight over to the factories now most of the time the factories will be looted but once i'm there i can either decide you know look for enemies farm up a little bit because there is that um, tree line right next to the factories which is perfect for farming up material i like to get a couple hundred material there and then once i'm there i can either listen to hear if people are fighting in salty springs or at dusty depot because that area is in the middle and then choose to make my rotation if you want a little bit more loot you probably want to head towards salty springs because there could be a couple unlooted houses and also on the, in between that area there are some houses but if you hear people fighting over at Dusty or depending on where the zone is, you can decide where to rotate there. Another great thing about retail is because it is a central main location, but you have so much map around you, you will find a lot of stragglers or not, not really new players, but you'll find some beginner players like to land way out and are running for the whole game trying to get to the safe zone and they will be on your sides or behind you. So make sure you're always checking as you're moving. A lot of the times those guys will have good loots and won't be the best players, which will allow you to pick them off, get some fairly easy kills and get yourself some loot heading into that mid game and heading into towards the late game. That's what basically I would say is better about retail than um, Tilted Towers. Tilted Towers, you can have more action, you can have more loot off the start, but the rotations out of retail are so absolutely beautiful. You can catch so many stragglers. I think I did that to get a scar this game, a bunch of loot just, just by doing that, and it's absolutely amazing. The, the areas surrounding retail are what make it so strong. Tilted Towers is probably my favorite place on the map, but it is sort of in its own little crater, which means that it's basically once you clear it out, you have a long run to go to the next popular area salty springs dusty the factories these are all very popular areas and even the run to tilted from um retail i mean the map seems big in, in in fortnite but it's really not that big once you do that once you clear out those areas you're going to have to sort of play safe and be aware of your surroundings coming out of retail because of all those possible areas i suggest picking up a decent amount of kills and then playing it sort of safe like i did in this game i believe this game i end with 13 uh kills but you can see i've I, i'm extremely looted I have a gold scar, a bunch of minis, med kit, two shotguns, which is absolutely amazing. And a new strategy, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll make a full video talking about this, but I'll give you guys the tip right now. Go, having the pump into the tactical now it's changed like a week ago i think it was i'm not sure exactly when the patch update was but now you can use your pump and you can not not double pump but you can double shotgun you can go pump switch it to the tack shoot one off the tack and go back to the pump which is insanely powerful and i've been using double shotgun a lot more and that's something that you'll see me you know use and uh, work with in this game but you can see here at late game you should have a bunch of materials you should have a bunch of loot from picking off those stragglers and farming up because of the amount of trees surrounding retail which is another great Great, uh, the great strength of it. And then you can sort of just play it safe, play it at your own pace and decide how, you know, if you're at three kills and you want to go for a 10 kill win, you can sort of pick up the pace. If you're comfortable, I mean, I was here sitting at 10 kills and I know near the end, you, you're going to get a, a bunch of kills because the fact is at the end, everyone plays slow and people don't want to waste their time. They want to clutch up. So you can, you play it smart and you can see here out of there's four enemies left right now and I'm able to pick off three of them just because I was, I, I guess you could say camping, but you know, people are all around me in bases. I I realized I have the rotation here. I have the jump pad, which basically means that what I was doing here is I'm waiting. I see this guy. He's way out of the zone. He's going to have to run. I have 400, 500 bullets. I'm going to put the pressure on him and I'm going to use my jump pad to rotate once that zone comes in. Of course, don't peek for too long to, so, to make sure you don't get sniped. But when I'm putting pressure on like this guy, I can see clearly two of them are fighting over there. There's no chance I'm going to get sniped and having jump pads are a major key. I basically put the pressure on, make my rotations 
early and I'm able to clutch up and win this game straight out of retail row because I played it smart in the early game in the mid game and it gave me the supplies to basically ro you know the main tips towards the end game I've talked about so many times rotate early build up and have positioning I mean look at this there's three people left two enemies and I'm right in the zone they're both over there they have to come to me uh, one of the guys was a pretty good builder I pick off this guy but then the other guy was a pretty good builder and you'll see near the end I'll, I'll cut to the last kill I actually had to rush him but I had him weak I didn't just rush him blindly I believe I hit him with a couple scar shots I'm not really sure if he healed and then I was able to rush him so that's how you can win by retail row secure the houses land on top of a house where there where there's usually going to be a chest get get a chest get some guns secure the houses secure the black tops and then make your rotations towards that middle area of the map very very you know a good way to play and an area that I got to start going even more because it's a great area to balance out kills safety and loot you can see here I rushed this last guy he's sort of hiding uh, I couldn't really find where he was at but I had the double shock and I really wasn't concerned I think I had him weak that's why I chose to use the tack and bada bing bada boom thanks for watching guys smack a like on this video if you guys could I'd really appreciate that uh, make sure to go download amino and enter that giveaway if you guys are interested and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new I'm out. Peace. Have a great night.